Today we're going to be talking about the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. What does this mean? The important part here is the c. c is always going to be the hypotenuse. This right here in the triangle indicates that it is a 90 degree angle and so this is a 90 degree or a right triangle. You can only use the Pythagorean theorem for right triangles. If the triangle is not a right triangle then you should not be doing or using the Pythagorean theorem. So notice this right here is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. It's always opposite from the 90 degree angle. The other two is what we call the legs. The legs don't matter if you label them A or B because either way you're going to be finding the sum of those squares. But the important one is the one that you're going to label C. Let's take a look at an example. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the missing side. Remember to include the units. So right here, we know that it is a right triangle. Opposite of the right triangle, we have 10. This is the hypotenuse. So that is going to be your C in the formula. And then you can go ahead and make A equal to 6. And I can say that this is B. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So that means 6 squared if I substitute plus b squared. Now be careful here because notice how the 6 and the b, believe it or not, a lot of times you confuse your own handwriting. So make sure the 6 looks like a 6 and the b looks like a b. And this is going to equal to 10 squared. 6 squared is 36. 36 plus b squared is equal to 100. Now I have to subtract 36 from both sides leaving me with b squared is equal to 64. I can take the square root of 64, which is equal to 8. That means that the value of or the length of the missing side is equal to 8 centimeters. Let's look at another example. Same question. Using the Pythagorean theorem, find the length of the missing side. Here is my right angle. Opposite of your right angle is your hypotenuse. So in this particular case, we are looking for the hypotenuse. Again, it doesn't matter if I make the 12a or the 5a because either way you're going to add those squares together. So I'm just going to go a and b. So I get 12 squared plus 5 squared is equal to c squared. 12 squared is 144, 5 squared is 25, because 5 squared means 5 times 5, equals C squared. 144 plus 25 is 169, it's equal to C squared, but be careful, you're not done yet, you need to take the square root of both sides, that cancels out the square, the square root of 169 is 13, that means the hypotenuse is 13. So here, the missing side measures 13 feet. This, by the way, is what's called a Pythagorean triple. A Pythagorean triple is basically just a shortcut. It always works. And one of those triples is the 5, 12, 13 triangle. In the previous example that we did, there's another triple, 6, 8, 10. That means that if you ever get a right triangle, and you know one length is 6, the other leg is 8, the hypotenuse has to be 10. Let's go to our final example. See if you can do this one by yourself. Pause the video and then come back when you're ready. Okay, so once again, this is the right angle. Opposite of the right angle, this is our hypotenuse, which is the longest side of the right triangle. I'm going to go ahead and make the 24a and then the missing side b. So a squared, 24 squared, plus b squared, which we don't know. You could use b, you could use x for an unknown, doesn't matter, it's just a variable. It's equal to 26 squared. You might not know what 24 squared is, so you might have to go to use a calculator, but 24 times 24 is 576 plus b squared and 26 times 26 is 676. So 
I subtract from both sides. I get b squared is equal to 100. You need to take the square root of both sides. So b is equal to 10. So the answer is 10 centimeters. And this, as you basically know, is going to be another triple, 10, 24, 26. The only ones that can be triples are whole numbers. So if you get any decimal answers, that's not part of a triple. The most common triples are 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, because notice if I multiply 3 times 2, I get 6, 4 times 2, I get 8, 5 times 2, I get 10. If I multiply 3 times 3, I get 9, 4 times 3, I get 12, 5 times 3, 15, and that actually gives me another triple. You can check it out yourself. Does 9 squared plus 12 squared equal 15 squared? And the answer is yes, okay? Um, and then we saw 10, 24, 26 from this problem is also a triple. I hope you found this video useful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.